everyone and welcome to another edition of the Psychosim Project. Psychosim Reviews, in fact, here on YouTube. Um, today, I mean, this is the first way in a long while since my little new metal rant, as it were. Oh, well, I say rant. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 15th studio album by Death Metal Legends, the Titans themselves, Cowboy Corpse and their newest album, Violence Unimagined. I mean, look at that cover. Always fantastic. I mean, this is this is the censored version, apparently. Um, couldn't find the uncensored version. I kind of go into that into the actual review itself in a moment. But um, yes, this is the 15th. They've uh, chosen a few members. We'll discuss that in a moment. But does this reach the heights, the giddy heights, of death metal awesomeness that Campbell Corpse have done before? Or is it a bit of a dud? Well, I've given it a listen, and I'm about to give you my thoughts. I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to check out my Patreon. The link is near the end and will be in the description as well. And uh, feel free to subscribe, like, hit the bell, all the usual stuff. Try to get more videos up more frequently. Anyway, let's get into the review. Oh, before anyone says it, yes, this is an Emerson Lake and Palmer Tarka shirt. Um, and you're probably wondering, why should I trust this idiot to talk about death metal when he's in a like seventy he's prog rock band um sure well you know what soldier <laughs> now basically i'm a huge cowboy corpse fan i've got all the albums seen them live trying to get an interview with them um and yeah i'm a fan of definitely in general i mean i've got zyklon there for christ's sake so inked into my flesh anyway let's just do a lay any proper you know hardcore death metal heads anyway with that being said here's the review so here we are cowboy corpse violence unimagined their 15th studio album in 30 years or 30 or so years since they began with the awesome Eaten Back to Life back in 1987, 88, I want to say, which helped bring the wider world into what was to become known as death metal. Now, Cannibal Corpse are def definitely one of those uh, legendary death metal bands. And over the last 10 or 20 years, I've been getting a bit of flack for being a bit meat and potatoes and all that and admittedly they are the band that most people think of when you say the words death metal but that doesn't mean they're bad yes they have a very particular style they like to have grooves and all that they like to write the gory lyrics and everything but that's what makes them so endearing that's why they're so legendary and that is why they're probably one of the best selling death metal bands and most widely known out there i mean if you would say devourment to someone on the street wouldn't have a clue what you want about have you say cannibal corpse They've probably heard of them. It's the uh, Napalm Death effect, essentially. Now, Violence I Imagine. I mean, 15 studio albums over 30 years. You would think maybe, just maybe, Colts may have just dulled the edge or dulled the shine a little bit off of their sound. Not at all. Not at all. This is an absolutely vicious album. Now, there has been a lineup change, um, as some of you may know. Mr. Eric Rutan uh, of hate eternal and formerly of morbid angel as well has joined the crew now i have my concerns with that even though i love eric rutan he's a great producer great guitarist great vocalist and everything i was a bit concerned that he, with him writing songs for cannibal he might kind of slip into a bit of auto mode and maybe make a few hate eternalish songs but no his riffs are perfect for the cannibal sound um he meshes well with the rest of the crew with the rest of the band even and how some of his songs are probably the best on the album it has to be said he is an absolutely fantastic addition to this already legendary band i mean things kick off in stunningly um vicious fashion with murderous rampage then we get to necrogenic resurrection a nice groovy fast number then by the first singles inhumane harvest one of the goriest videos on youtube you will ever see um most of you heard this nice fast section that goes into a nice groovy kind of um midsection um and yeah i mean it's classic cannibal corpse really um and it, the song the uh, there's a few surprises on here um on this album i mean studio the album sorry continues as it should uh, full of viciousness and all this now the big question some of you may be thinking is as i liked the last album red before black apart from the title for for a cannibal corpse album red before black bit of a poor title that's where uh, why the poorest cannibal corpse album titles up there with kill I mean, Kill? Really? Come on now. Um, but as I imagined, awesome title. Um, but yes, is this better than Red Before Black? Um, you know what? 
I think it might be. And I really liked Red Before Black. But the problem was, with the later studio albums of Corpse, um, I don't find myself going back to them that often. Like I've liked all of them. I've liked such as Torture, um, obviously Red Before Black, um, and the others that come out. But anything after probably The Wretched Spawn, I just don't find myself visiting that much. I don't know if anyone else has this issue. It's not because they're bad albums. Far from it. I don't think Campbell Corpse have done what, in my mind, could be considered a bad album or a terrible album or even just a weaker album, really. What it comes to is your own personal preference. Like, for me, uh, many people like love, love the Vile album. Now, fair enough, it was devoured by Vermi. Absolute classic. But for me... Um, Vile never clicked with me. Um, for me, Campbell Corpse, I've always liked the more groovy, catchy stuff. It's why I love the bleeding and gore obsessed, etc. Um, but when it comes to uh, the more technical stuff, like Gallery of Suicide and all that, never quite clicks with me, which is another concern with Eric Rutan being on board on this album. But as I said, that my concerns were allayed within about two, three songs with that. Um, there's a couple of catchy numbers on here. Uh, the Murderous Rampage. Surround Kill Devour is really, really quite catchy. Follow the Blood as well. Um, Slay the Sawn is a really sickeningly groovy, slow uh, tempo at parts of it. Um, now, I am reviewing the Digipack version with the two extra tracks. If you can find it, get the Digipack version because the two extra tracks, Over Torture and Serements of the Flayed, are absolutely worth the extra couple of quid. Um, to get this the only downside is uh, where I bought it from didn't have the um, uncensored cover which means I don't get the lyrics either in the booklet which is a bit of a pain because um, I don't think there's an uncensored version of the digipack which I have every other album uncensored I'm, I'm slightly disappointed in myself that I had to go plump for this um, that's enough about the covers um, <laughs> but yes Cowboy Corpse, Violence Unimagined, absolutely brutal. And for me, I can actually see myself retaining this quite a lot. And probably their best album since Gore Obsessed. Now, for some of you, that may seem like a bad thing, which, if that's the case, you're mental. But for me, Gore Obsessed is probably my favourite Cannibal Corpse album. With Two Million Mutilated, very, very close. Um, like, it's very much splitting hairs there, but... Um, when it comes to latter day uh, Cabal Corpse albums, this is one of the best, absolutely, and this is definitely their best since uh, Gore Obsessed. Uh, anyway, I'm waffling now, so I'm going to wrap up this review by saying if you like your death metal, uh, obviously. If you like Cannibal Corpse and you haven't maybe kept up with the later albums and want a dip of toe back in, Violence Unimagined 100% worth your money. As I said, get the Digipat version because it is absolutely worth the money for the extra tracks as well. So once again, Cannibal Corpse keeping their status as absolutely legendary death metal um, titans, as it were. So, yes, it gets four out of five for me. Well, four and a half out of five for me, even. Um, the only reason it doesn't get out of five out of five is I'm doing this on uh, the basis of a one listen. So, it could go up to five out of five. It depends if um, some of the other songs grow on me. Because there's one or two songs on there that maybe didn't quite... Um, stick themselves in my head as well as they could have done but on repeated listens i'm sure that will change anyway the album is out now on metal blade records go check it out campbell corpse violence are unimagined